As is customary within the Catholic faith, the body of Bishop Vincent Matthew Darius O.P. will be given a crypt burial in the basement of the cathedral. His body will be laid to rest alongside that of First Bishop of the Diocese of St. George's, Justin Field, Father William Malagon, and four other priests who served in Grenada in the 19th century. The body of the late Vincent Darius will arrive at the Morris Bishop International Airport on Wednesday the 18th of May around 6.55pm for a motorcade to the Otway Bailey Funeral Home. On Thursday, his body will be brought to Cariacou for viewing and then back to Grenada to lie in state in St. Martin de Porres Parish Church in Crochu, St. Andrew on the 23rd of May. Chairman of the Communications Subcommittee of Diocesan Task Force, Father Sean Doggett, spoke of the significance of the Requiem Mass at the Cathedral. So what will happen is everybody will be in place. The body should be at the back of the church. Father Harris will say a little word of welcome and um, uh, acknowledge the, the dignitaries who are present. And then the body will be received either by Bishop Charles or by Bishop Gabriel Malzair, one or other of them at the door, and then it will be brought up to the sanctuary. Now there's a significance in that, and the significance of that is that at the moment of death, the, the, our faith teaches us that we go before God, the soul goes before God for judgment, and the soul is there before the throne of God, the center of attention uh, of the angels and the saints and the whole host of heaven. And receiving the body is like is, is, is symbolizing that reality for us, which has already taken place. And then bringing it up to the front means now it is becoming the center of attention in this community. So it's a reminder to us that all of us, one day, we too, will be the center of attention before the throne of God to face the judgment and all of us. Richie Oliver will be responsible for spearheading the live broadcast of the Requiem Mass. He said alternative arrangements have been made to house the mass of people who are unable to be accommodated at the cathedral. There will be an overflow here in this hall. Yeah, with a screen. Is that right, Richie? Yes, indeed. Um, well, the overflow in the sense of I think a few of the, a few of the churches have recognized that the cathedral certainly won't be able to hold the mass of persons who would like to come to the cathedral. So quite a few of the churches are putting systems in place in that um, they'll be having screens in some of the churches. I know Monjalu and uh, Woburn Blessed and Blessed Sacrament will be, will be having it, you know, live in the churches on the different, different television screens and projector and, and different screens in some of the other churches. So. The plans have been made so that persons will actually go into the churches, you know, and observe that reverence in the church as if they were actually in the cathedral because it will be broadcasted live to them on, on different television screens. And so. The live feed for broadcasts of the Requiem Mass will be EWTN Global Catholic Network and will be carried live on GIS and on the Internet. GBN's Lou Smith will also be a part of the live broadcast team. The service will be held at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception on Wednesday the 25th of May from 10 o'clock that morning. Tony Julian, GBN News.